So now I am on Vector Studio. So now the first thing I'm going to do is to add some guides here. So go to View and then select Guides. And now I'm going to add in 50% horizontal and then vertical guides. So left click here. So here it is 50% horizontal and then left click here. 50% vertical and now close it. And now let's select the shape tool, left click, select the ellipse tool. And now hold shift key down and then create your circle to create a perfect circle. So here it is. Now I'm going to left click on the color. I'm going to remove the fill here, left click. And then I'm going to double click here and then add the one point stroke the center left click here so the color of the outline here is black and now let's select the move tool and now let's center our layer so here it is make sure the snapping here is checked and now control j to duplicate your circle here and now hold shift key down and then scale down your layer until it snaps here so here it is and now i'm going to select the big circle and then let's select the small circle again and then control j to duplicate the small circle and now hold shift key down and then move up your layer here until it snaps here and here. And now select the small circles here. So I'm going to select this one here and hold shift key down and then left click on this one. So now they are both selected and now control J to duplicate them. And now hold shift key down and then rotate both small circles here until they snap here and here. So here it is and now make sure on the move tool and now I'm just going to select all the layers here, all the circles. And now let's select the shape builder tool, left click here, select shape builder. The action is plus to create a new shape from selected areas. Drag method is freehand, clean up none. I check the use style from first selected area. And now I'm going to select this shape here and then this one. So here it is. And now I'm going to remove everything else. So I'm just going to change the action here to delete selected areas from objects. And then I'm just going to select the rest here of the shapes. So here it is. Now we only have this shape here. So now let's select the move tool. Now I'm going to add a linear gradient to it. So select it. And now let's select the fill tool. Left click here. Select fill tool. The context is fill. I'm going to change the type here. Left click to linear. I'm going to left click on this point here. I'm going to change it to black. And then left click on this one here. I'm going to change it for example to a blue color. So I'm going to change it to this color here. And now let's select the move tool. And now click on the gear icon here. Check the enable transform origin. And now I'm going to move this point here of the transform origin to the center here. Where the guides cross. I'm going to move it so here it is. And now make sure to select the shape here. This one here. Press enter. As you can see it opens the move and duplicate window. So I'm going to check the duplicate. I'm going to change the number of copies to three. Double click and then press three, press enter. And then I'm going to change the rotation to 90. So double click and then type 90, press enter. So here it is and I'll click OK. And now I'm going to select all the layers here. So I'm going to remove the guides here. So go to view, guides, and then click here, remove all guides, and then click close. So now I'm going to remove the outline here. So now I'm just going to group them. Click on this one here, group. And then I'm going to left click here. So if you want to add an outline, so here it is. I'm just going to bring it back to zero. And now let's select the contour tool. Left click here, this one here. Double click here on the radius and then change it to one. Press enter. So now I'm going to select the move tool. 